Hey guys! So we all know that Nancy Drew Mysteries are, even though we don't want to admit it, educational. I know myself, I was in school once and they mentioned Tesla and I was totally like, awesome, I've got this. I played that game at least five times. Most people were blown away by how much I knew about him and they thought I was super smart. <laughs> Joke's on them, I actually just play Nancy Drew. I mean, if you've played all the games, you probably know the periodic table and most of the Marie Antoinette's life and how to tell if vegetables are ripe. Not that you wouldn't know that already. But you're not here to talk about things you already know. You're here to learn the things you need to know for Labyrinth of Lies. Now, of course, we all know that the game takes place in Greece, which is the center of all things old, ancient, and mythologically significant. Fun fact, it would have taken Nancy an entire day to fly from New Zealand to Greece. If that's not hardcore, I don't know what is. But anyways, as many of us know, the teaser is kind of confusing if you don't know much about Greek mythology. So that is why I am here to teach you. Little disclaimer, I'm not exactly an expert. Most of the things I know about Greek mythology come either from the internet or history class. So without further ado, I'm gonna tell you the story of Persephone. Now, in order to understand Persephone, you have to know who her parents were. Zeus is her dad, the god of the sky, and basically in charge of everybody at Mount Olympus. Demeter is her mother and the goddess of the harvest that makes sure that us mortals always have something to eat. And Persephone is known as the vegetation goddess, which I will explain in a moment. Now, legend has it that Persephone was frolicking around in a field one day looking for fairies and flowers and everything that's pretty and cool. When out from the underworld comes Hades, grabs her and drags her back to his lair. <laughs> Persephone had no idea why this was happening, so she kind of freaked out, like most normal goddesses would if they were abducted. Little did she know it was actually her father Zeus's fault. He made a deal with Hades. Hades wanted a queen, and Zeus was all like, Ooh, 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 I have an extra daughter. You could have her. Unfortunately, Zeus didn't get around to telling Demeter what had happened. So when she found out, she was not very happy. She went frantically searching for her daughter because she didn't know where she had gone, and because of this, she was distracted, and the harvest began to die. And thus, the first winter appeared. Everything was dead. So anyways, Demeter eventually figures out what Zeus did, and then they have one of those really scary mom and dad talks that you just do not want to be a part of. And she basically tells him, um, I'm gonna need you to go get my daughter, please, thank you. So, Zeus sends Hermes down to the underworld to go get Persephone. Meanwhile, Persephone is just chilling in the underworld. Eventually, Hades agrees to let Persephone go back, but not before she eats pomegranate seeds. So, she eats the seeds and then is reunited with her mom, and everybody's all happy and yeah, and springtime comes and everything's finally alive again in the mortal world, and we're all like, yes! Food. And then they realize that she ate six pomegranate seeds and she's gonna have to go back to the underworld for six months out of every year. And so Persephone now spends six months of her year up above, making sure that everything is alive and well, and then spends six months of her year down in the underworld as none other than the queen of the underworld. And that is how ancient Greeks explain the seasons. So if you're ever mad that the weather is too hot or too cold, you can blame Persephone or Demeter. So there you have it, a little clue into the next game that'll help you along your journey. If you want to learn more about ancient Greeks, stay tuned because there's going to be a lot of stuff in the new game, which you can pre-order September 9th. Do it. You get the bonus edition and potentially play on October 7th. Anyways, I hope you guys are more prepared for the game now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.